Hello and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering EDH Tech Tech idea. Today we are taking a look at Kyla's the Guardian Emissary. It is a 5 mana 2-2 two, two, and whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1 mana counter on it. Furthermore, other humans you control get plus 1 plus 1 for each counter on Kyla. Kyla synergizes really well with additional plus 1 plus 1 counters and a lot of humans entering the battlefield to make even our small humans extremely big because of its anthem effect. And this is exactly how we are going to build this deck. We are going to put a bunch of plus one plus one counters on Kylo to make our army of humans extremely powerful and then win with an overrun effect. So while we are ramping towards our five mana, we want to bring out additional anthem effects for Kylo so that he immediately gets a few plus one plus one counters. Which is why we play Master Chef, a free mana legendary enchantment background and commander creatures your own have, this creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it and other creatures you control enter the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on them. This enchantment alone will already do a bunch of work in this deck to bring Kyla out of a normal shock range and also immediately give him an anthem effect. We play Kafar's Crusade, a 5 mana enchantment and whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature you control. This card is extremely synergistic if multiple creatures hit the battlefield in our turn to anthem up all of those creatures that aren't summoning sick. A great turn 1 play is Hardened Scales, a 1 mana green enchantment and if one or more plus 1 plus 1 counters would be put on a creature you control, that many plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 counter are put on it instead. This powerful replacement effect will do a lot of work if you bring this card out early, but even in the late game you can benefit from this card a lot. We play Branching Evolution, a 3 mana enchantment and if one or more plus 1 plus 1 counters would be put on a creature you control, twice that many plus 1 plus 1 counters are put on it instead. Another really powerful enchantment is Tribute to the World Tree, a free mana enchantment and whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card if its power is free or greater, otherwise put two plus one plus one counters on it. Due to Kyla being a 2-2, two, two, it will get two plus one plus one counters from Tribute to the World Tree, which will already give you an anthem by plus two plus two. We also play Court of Garenbrick, a free mana enchantment and when it enters the battlefield you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, distribute two plus one plus one counters on among up to two target creatures. Then if you're the monarch, double the number of plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. If this enchantment stays unanswered, you will definitely run away with the game, but even if it gets removed, you are still the monarch, so it will basically at least replace itself. And now let's talk about a few powerful Anthem humans for all of our creatures that have plus one plus one counters on them. We play Tuskard Captain, a free mana 2 free human with Outlast. So for one mana and tapping it, you can put a plus one plus one counter on it. Furthermore, each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has Trample. We also play Copper Court Vanguard, a two mana 2-2 two, two, and each other human you control gets plus one plus zero and has Ward 1. We play Envoy of the Ancestors, a free mana 2 free with Outlast last for one mana and modified creatures you control have lifelink. Let's give our creatures a little bit of evasion. Apps and Falconer, a free mana 2 free with outlast and each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has flying. We also play Cathedral Acolyte, a two mana 1 2 and each creature you control with a counter on it has ward 1. You can also tab it to put a plus one plus one counter on target creature that entered the battlefield this turn. And for even more evasion we play Champion of Lambhold, a free mana 1 1 and creatures with power less than Champion of Lambholt's power can't block creatures you control. Furthermore, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Champion of Lambholt. And now let's talk about a few humans that will win us the game. Hero of Prescient 1, a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two, and whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a 1-1 one -one white human creature token. We play Lainor, Autumn Sovereign, a 4-mana 0-4 with Coven. So at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a 1-1 one -one counter on up to one target creature you control. Then if you control three or more creatures with different powers, draw a card. So Lena already enables Coven really easily because of having zero power. She will deploy even more plus one plus one counters on our creatures and most preferably Kyla. And in addition to that, she will also draw us a few cards. We play Bastion Protector, a free mana free free and commander creatures you control get plus two plus two and have indestructible. A really powerful human in this deck is Ors of Advocist, a free mana one four 
And at the beginning of your upkeep, each player may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. If a player does, creatures that player controls can't attack you or planeswalkers you control until your next turn. We play Adeline, Resplendent Kafar, a free mana 0-4 with Vigilance, and her power is equal to the number of creatures you control. She has a really powerful attack trigger in this deck because whenever you attack for each opponent, create a 1-1 white human creature token that's tapped in attacking that player or planeswalker they control. So on attack we will create 3 more humans which will trigger Kyla before blockers can even be declared. We play Greymond, Everson Stalwart, a 4 mana 3-4 and as it enters the battlefield choose 2 abilities from among First Strike, Vigilance and Lifelink. Humans you control have each of those abilities and as long as you control 4 or more humans, humans you control get plus 2 plus 2. So once we have established our board of powerful humans and a powerful Kyla we will go for one of our final overrun effects. For example, Overwhelming Stampede, a 5 mana sorcery, until end of turn, creatures you control get trample and get plus x plus x where x is the greatest power among creatures you control. Another really powerful overrun effect is a Chroma's Will, a 4 mana instant, choose one. If you control a commander as you cast a spell, you may choose both. Creatures you control gain flying, vigilance and double strike until end of turn, or creatures you control gain lifelink, indestructible and protection from all colors until end of turn. Alright guys, these were a few cards that I would play in Kyla's The Guardian Emissary. Make sure to check out my full deck list in the notes below. Let me know down in the comments which cards you would add to the deck, which legendary creature I shall feature next, and then I would say, see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.